Hey, it's Nick again with the Happen Group. Um, today I'm going to walk you through a small mold remediation project. The issue we have is uh, water intrusion from a sliding glass door. What happened as a result? Uh, we had some moldy drywall, um, some wet material, some rotting baseboards. Uh, we also had some mold growth on some of the furniture that was um, located next to the wall. This was a source of the water intrusion. Uh, the track was installed incorrectly, so every time rain would fall, the water would just roll right inside the home. We found the source of the issue when we did water intrusion testing. That prompted us to remove um, carpet and just take a look at the padding and the material underneath the carpet um, and on the tack strip and on some of the baseboards. Uh, we had to inspect the wall cavity, so we used a three-sided hole cut uh, just to inspect inside that cavity to see if there was mold growth. Based on what we saw when we did the three-sided hole cut, um, we decided to put up a containment to protect um, the occupants. Uh, we installed containment around the doors. Also, any AC vents um, that was in the area. We also installed 6 mil poly on the windows. After we set up the containment, we installed our air purification device uh, to trap any mold spores that are floating around while the work is going on. You always want to make sure that the exhaust for the air scrubber is vented outside. Uh, before we started the operation, we had the guys uh, put on a PPE. Uh, in this situation, we use um, a respirator that is used for um, asbestos abatement. Um, it's a particulate respirator. Uh, we had some gloves. Um, we decided to put on a Tyvek suit and some safety goggles as well. Uh, the first step is removal of all the items out of the area. So in this case, we remove the carpet, the padding, uh, we pulled the tack strips. Um, we also removed insulating material that was inside a wall cavity. I also noticed that the adjacent wall had some issues as well. It had some soft drywall. So we decided to go ahead and take a look. Uh, we pulled the baseboards and when we did, we um, saw some mold growth in these areas. So uh, we decided to go ahead and remove that section of drywall as well. Just to make sure that we got everything and there was nothing residual that was left behind. Uh, the next step is the cleanup process. Um, this involves taking all the materials that you removed and bagging them in the containment area and properly sealing the bag. Uh, this includes all the moldy drywall, um, insulating material, um, any carpet padding, anything that had any mold growth on it. A method that is used is called the gooseneck method. Uh, pretty much um, this is a, one of the best ways you can use to seal a trash bag and keep all the particulates inside. After all the affected materials were removed, we went ahead and HEPA vacuumed down the entire area. Um, this includes the wall cavity, uh, the concrete, and any areas around it where mold could, um, dust could settle. Uh, the next step is to clean the wood with uh, mild detergent. Um, you can use a wire brush or a cloth. Uh, you don't need biocides, anything like that, because uh, the Dawn solution is just as effective. I want to scrub it until all the mold is off the material and it looks visibly clean. At this point, you don't need to do anything else. Um, some people say you need to add a encapsulant to seal in the mold spores, but that actually is not necessary because once you get rid of the moisture source, the mold won't regrow. Uh, you can save a little money by not doing that because it doesn't really, it's not effective um, one way or another. Um, you put it on there, but if the moisture source comes back, the mold is going to come back through it. Nothing's going to stop it. Uh, the next step would be to dry out the wall cavity. Uh, make sure that all the two by fours are dry. Um, all you have to do is take a fan and blow it on the th on the location for about 24 to 48 hours. After that, you can just do a test, a moisture test on the wood to make sure it's dry. Uh, when it's dry, you can go ahead and start reinstalling your building materials. Uh, so pretty much, um, you want to put back the insulation. You want to put back the drywall, uh, any kind of baseboard material, uh, the tack strips. Uh, then you install the padding and then you install the carpet. After you've installed the carpet, uh, you can go ahead and um, use a HEPA vacuum to clean the area. Um, this will remove any construction debris. Uh, the last thing you want to do um, in a mold remediation is to sanitize the area and then remove your uh, containment. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe and hit like um, for this video.